Hey guys, it's Jackie. I hope you're all doing well. So I have a couple of random things to show you and I also want to talk about two candles that I already have post burn reviews that I hauled from the weekend. So my brother-in-law and sister-in-law went to Five and Below. If you don't know what that is, it's kind of like a, um, a kind of everything store and most items are Five and Below, but our Five and Below now is like 10 and Below. Nuts. But anyways, they got me this Olaf mug. So cute. I think he was only $4. So I got this Olaf mug. Set it down before I break it. And this Bobble Olaf. So with the sun, because I turned the lights on, it says solar powered. Um, His little head bobbles. He's so cute. I think I'm going to put it at work in my window because I do have a window at my desk. So I really, really like those. You guys know I'm a huge Olaf fan. Another thing I got from Amazon, this is a stuff called Hard as Hoof, and it's nail strengthening cream. It's one ounce, and it comes in this container by Onyx Professional. Smells like coconut, but it's not a fake, like, uh, not like the coconut we get from Bath & Body Works. This is like an authentic coconut smell. Um, she's, <laughs> I don't know, she just likes you guys to see her tail. Um, so I've had <laughs> this for a couple of days. Um, I have very weak nails. They're thin. And so my friend had told me about this and she said that she'd been using it like three times a day and her nails were getting stronger. So I wanted to get this. Um, it smells so good and it's a really thick cream. And I literally, um, just kind of scrape my nails in a little bit, like kind of stiff, you know, dip them down in there and then rub them in my palm and, you know, just really work them on my cuticles and my nails. So we'll see. I'll do a follow up, but I wanted to show you it's like seven bucks on amazon.com hard as hoof. Then Joe and I, over the weekend, we got this fragrances. We love discovery set for him and her. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I thought it, I don't know, 16 samples. I, I thought it was eight and eight, but it doesn't look like it. So we got this and there's a bunch of different samples. So you can see it's in this plastic container and they're all samples of different perfumes and colognes. And then uh, the sales lady actually gave Joe a sample of Dior homey for guys. It smells really good. So she gave him like this really awesome sample. So we both like perfume and cologne. So I thought this was really cool. It says it's 20 bucks, but they actually were on sale for 15. And so it's a great way to try all the fragrances. They're just the little sample bottles that you get like when you buy perfume or cologne. So I was, you know, we walked past it and I was like, oh, wait a minute. Let me look at that. Um, so yeah, we got that. I was really excited. And then I wanted to show you guys today, I got in some of my Color Street nail strips and these are so adorable. I will link my party down below. These are for St. Patrick's Day, you guys, and they are so much prettier in person than they were online. So the first set um, are these. And you can see the shamrocks here and it's got like a glittery green. There's like a plain one, little shamrocks. So that's the first one. This one is called Clover and Out. So pretty. But this one, OMG. I love this one. Um, I think it's absolutely adorable. You got the mint, you know, glitter, the checks, the buffalo check, and then the little clovers with the uh, polka dots and this one is called luck of the stylish you guys absolutely adorable it only takes like three to four business days to get these in shipping is three bucks they are buy three get one free absolutely adorable so now on to my post burn of my candles my hair looks wonky it is what it is I am exhausted. It is Thursday night when I'm filming this. This will go up on Friday. It's been a long week. I don't even know why. Um, it just feels like it. it's like really stupid because really not a lot going on, but just like exhausted. And I, 
I, I appreciate you guys. I love the fact that you guys keep me honest. When I hauled this candle, the fresh orange, um, I had said I wasn't sure if I had tried it. And somebody had po uh, commented that I had tried it back in August. I went back to August and I could not find that video to see where I had talked about this. But when I lit this candle and burned it, it smells so familiar to me. And I was like, maybe I did burn this candle. So it's fresh orange. I burned it two days in a row, no issues, but it smells like a cleaner. And that's what the person said in the comment. And I'm sorry, I don't, it's hard for me to keep up with names on there. I know several of you comment on all my videos and I really, really appreciate that. But I can, I simply, I could go back to the video and see, you know, where they had said that. And then I was like, I, maybe I did burn this because it does smell like a cleaner. So the scent notes are fresh grated orange zest, sparkling citrus, and white jasmine with essential oils. My code is 9337K3A2. This will probably be a really good candle to put on my back porch. Like when my windows are open and it's nice outside, it was so strong. This is probably like a four room filler, so not an entire house. But if you get headaches and you don't like the scent of orange, you will not like this candle. But I had it lit and it smells really pretty. I'm not saying I hate this candle. It does remind you of a cleaner, like almost like pine saw. And I think that's what the person said in my comments. I, I don't need any more of it. I don't need several in backup. This candle is not horrific, but it's not for me. So I'm okay with this one. I think the color of the packaging is absolutely beautiful, but it's really overwhelming. It almost has like a kerosene like tinge to it. You know, like that liquid you put in the torches outside that you light to keep bugs away. This would probably keep mosquitoes away in the spring and summer. So I'm okay with it. I'm not saying it's awful. And if you love this candle, we can all be different because that's what makes the world go round. It's just not for me. But I think I will enjoy it more in the spring, like when the windows are open and it's fresh and you get like a light scent, you know, going through your house. I think it'll be better. The other one that I burned is the Palo Santo. And I got this one also over the weekend. Look how pretty that packaging is. Remember I told you about Pollyanna on Disney Plus? Um, this is interesting. I don't hate it and I don't love it. So it's kind of... I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to burn it again to see how I like it with nothing else going on in the house. I burned it for several hours in a row. No issues. Just a little mushroom tap there on the one wick over there. Um, it's very... It smells like fresh wood, like almost like cedar. So like if you had a cedar lined closet or cedar chips that you put in your drawers or like a cedar hanger, it kind of has that scent to it, but almost like a wet wood. I don't know. So like if you have firewood outside, like we have a house up north with my dad and if that wood got wet near the wood pile, you know, where we burn outside, it kind of has like a wet wood scent and masculine. Like this is really nice. I think this would be a really good scent like by your fireplace, like the whole ambiance, like to give you like if you had your fireplace going and you lit this candle next to it, just kind of, you know, you're watching an old movie or watching TV. Like I love watching Forensic Files. Cannot wait for Forensic Files 2 to come out on February 23rd. Um, I don't know. It's, it's really odd. So I don't, I don't hate it and I don't love it. Like I'm good with just this one candle and I had it like when you first walk into my house, I have that table there. We have a, a, like a warmer on it and pictures of our parents and one of our wedding pictures. And I went upstairs and I came downstairs and I was like, oh wait, what did I light there? And it's like, it's okay. I don't know. It's kind of different. So it's a uh, Palo Santo wood, warm amber, and soft musk with essential oils. So my code is 9323K3A6. That's a lot of consonants in like one vowel, right? One vowel. Yeah. Okay. It's been a long time since I've been out of high school. Five years. So 
Oh, it kind of reminds me of the Walt Disney World wax that I had gotten from Haunted Mansion. It's similar to that too. Um, I wish it was a little sweeter. I wish it had just something like a sugary note to it because I think that would be a phenomenal candle. Um, I Again, I don't need several of these. I don't need to go get any more. I don't need one in my backup. I don't ever think that for these two candles that I'd be like, oh my God, I need like five in my backup. That's that's not the case with these two. Um, they're good candles. They're definitely like strong. They throw scent in a lot of rooms. Like I could smell this when I first walked back in my house in my living room and kitchen. It's not awful and it's not the best. And I don't know if I just really love bakery chocolate or cinnamon candles. I'm wondering if that's just my forte. I don't know, but I'm trying all these different candles to see if I like anything different. But I wanted to tell you guys about this. It's not horrible. It's just not for me. Just being 100%. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you're having a great night, day, week, whenever it is that you are watching this. Thank you so much for your support, your friendship. I really do appreciate you guys. I hope that you guys have a great weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye.